What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, a.k.a. First Name Rage, last name is him. Back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button. Hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rebel Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe and y'all. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about this as there is more bad news coming the way of MK1. Now, I know I get it. Here go Rage King over here hating again. Here go Rage King with nothing good to say about the game. Here go Rage King. Shut up, bitch. You need to hear this, all right? You need to hear this. I don't give a damn how you feel about me. I am the uncomfortable truth that the world needs. I don't give a damn. I don't get cry to your mama, and I'll probably smack her across her booty too, all right? Now, having said all, that having said all that more bad news coming the way of mk1 that i think everyone involved in the community should know and you need to hear me and hear me good what is rage king referring to in said bad news allow rage king to show you what's up yes sir as you see right here in your screen ain't no optical illusion ain't no black magic ain't no photoshop this is the real deal holy field and real spill and as you look on your screen right here evo france evo eu if you will has announced no more announcements today. Six games have been revealed for EVO at France. We're looking forward to seeing you in 2025. Now, of the six games that they have at EVO, EU, or EVO France, if you will. Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, two of the big three. You got Guilty Gear Strive. You got Dragon Ball Z. You got Grand Blue Fantasy. And you got Fatal Fury. Notice what's missing on this list that's right everyone's favorite assist game that no one asked for mk1 that's right mk1 and you know what's crazy i said in the stream not to in my very last stream if i'm not mistaken i said in my very last stream good luck to the people that's gonna uh, good luck to all 25 of the participants that's gonna be at evo 2025 for the next evo damn it y'all couldn't even make the cut Fuck 25 people fighting for it. Fuck 25 people signing up and competing for it. Y'all couldn't even make the cut. MK1 couldn't even make the cut. Couldn't even like, couldn't even make it on the list. Couldn't even get, how the hell they hating on the outside the club when they couldn't even get in? Damn. Damn. You mean the game of all of these, of all of these right here, not including Tekken 8, was one of the most recently released. Guilty Gear came out in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. That's three years ago, partner. Finna be four when this game is going to EVO 2025. Street Fighter VI was released, what, earlier this year? Earlier 2020? Well, uh, earlier in 2023? Yeah. Uh, Tekken 8 released a little bit after MK1, and yet MK1 came no, can't, can't be found nowhere. Can't be found nowhere. You can't find it. You can't find it. However, I'm not going to end it here because I have someone I have to push back on just a little bit. And I know, oh my God, how dare you push back on one of our beloved pro players? Yeah, I'm doing it. I don't give a shit, all right? Now, there's somebody that reposted this right here and has something to say. So let's go ahead and see who I'm talking about because Rage King is referring to no other than the one, da -da 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 -da, Foxy Grandpa. A very talented uh, MK player, very talented gamer, one of the better, one of the best uh, Mortal Kombat players in the world has been for a while. All due respect, but I got to push back a little bit. I got to push back a little bit, just a little bit, because it says his tweet reads, "Got any space in those toilets at Melty Blood?" He goes by Toilet Terror. He's got a weird thing going on with his stream. Entertaining, but very weird for those that are seeing it for the first time. Every time MK1 has a chance to redeem itself, it's let down. I would agree with that. Still no Pro Tour announcement either, but it's really a party game, so I understand. That's why I push back. Well, let me explain why I push back on that after I read this last little statement. MK1 is carried by his community and always has been, probably always will be. Okay, I got two things to push back on. For one, sir, the this whole party game bullshit that people got going on, in my opinion, is nothing more than a cop-out for why MK1 and MK in the past two games abs is absolute trash, all right? Because NetherRealm found a way, I don't know how the fuck they did it, but they found a way with the game as legendary as Mortal Kombat. They found a way to release the worst one-on-one -on -one fighting game of all time and then backdoor it and release the worst assist-based fighter game that no one asked for back to back. So this whole party game bullshit, bro, Every last one of these games right here, every last one of them, hell, every fucking game 
to ever be invented could be considered a party game. Each and every last one of these games, you can get in, you can get on, find a way to find, uh, uh, to, to practice against people, find a way to fight against people, find a way to ho uh, get with your homeboys and or homegirls for the girls that like the game, and you get on there and you play and you have fun. Every last one of those games, if not every fucking game invented, could have been considered, could be considered a party game, all right? They're video games at the end of the day. Every video game is a party game. Stop it respectfully stop it that is a cop-out mk1 is carried by its community always has been probably always will be yeah so are all of these other games right here my guy every last one of these games is being carried by its community hence the reason why it's at evo because the commit there is a community demand for it there are people that want to compete and play this game at higher levels past the party game. You want to know why they don't want to do that with MK1? Because MK1 fucking sucks. It sucks. MK1 sucks more dick than 16 bit on a drunken Saturday night. Yes, I've said it. Yes, I've said it. I don't give a damn how you feel about it. Because tell me am I lying? To make the point that all of these games are carried by its community. Hence the reason why it's at Evo. If it wasn't carried by its community, then it wouldn't be here. The reason why MK1 isn't carried by its community and here is because the game is trash. And I'm not the only one that thinks so. Even your own supporters think so. Let's just look down at what they had to say about this, please. Let's just see. In case I'm just running my mouth and I'm hating, right? I'm just hating, right? Rayski just wants to hate. He's just negative. No bitch, I'm a truth teller. I can't help it that you a pussy little bitch that can't handle the truth. Let's take a look at what your supporters say also. That's how it's always been. That's how it's always should be. Evo shouldn't matter. The whole point of the game is about having fun and having a community around fun and loyal characters. Scans, not hitboxes, online play pools. Evo fighting games have lost. This is too serious now. Highly disagree with that, but we're going to continue. I thought we established that Evo isn't for the MK community as they always do us dirty and that ECT is NRS version of Evo back in Injustice MK11. Then why was MK11 and Injustice at Evo? Stop it. These are all party games that people compete for. Just because you compete at a party game don't mean that it's... Just because a game is a party game don't mean that you can't have some kind of level of competition to it. All right? That, stop it. Because I guarantee goddamn tea, you know Super Smash Bros. is a party game too, but I guarantee goddamn tea, if they, if they announced the Pro Tour right now, I bet you they would be at Evo. Oh, it's a bigger game. And da, 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 da. You, know, you know what also it is? Not a trash-ass game. Not a monstrosity. Not a cesspool of code known as a video game littered with microtransaction and forced DEI. Let's continue. Sad but true. Yikes. No, hold on. Computer being stupid. Sad but true. Yikes. Okay, my computer is being completely, is being about as dumb as another Realm Studios developer. You say this, but the only time the community goes out to support the game is when it's a, is when it's a pro tour event. The strength of the New York, New Jersey local scene is predominantly on Darth Armour's back. Uh, laugh my ass off. If anyone else tries to host an event, it's usually cooked with little to no people showing up. The community is also the thing, not going to offline events, causing it to be dropped for big tournaments. No. Hmm? The main reason why MK1 isn't there is because Evo France stated PCs will be provided as the main hardware for competitors to play on. The reason why MK1 can't be at Evo France this year is because Evo found out that the PC port of the game hasn't worked since September. Bam! I.E. This game sucks. It sucks. I'll say it again. It sucks. Stop with the bullshit cop outs. This is why this game is in the state that it's in. Because instead of people saying what it is, people would much rather, oh, well, this is the reason. Oh, well, we shouldn't be with. No, we need to be more critical. 
It had, be mo it had motherfuckers with platforms, and I'm not saying this necessarily you, but it had motherfuckers with bigger platforms, and motherfuckers that are actually known for playing this game, had y'all to come out and said how bad this game was from the jump, we would not be in this situation to begin with. Oh, but there's more. There's more. MK1 just is not a good game objectively. It should come to no surprise that the game gets no support. And bam, like, come on, dog. Even your own fans. Even the people that's... Hold on. Damn it. Even your own fans can't deny what's going on. You know what I'm seeing right now? What I'm seeing right now, Mortal Kombat. And yes, I'm saying this. So that, that, prepare to get more offended because I don't give a shit how you feel. Mortal Kombat has become the Dallas Cowboys of the gaming of the gaming universe, particularly in the fighting game sphere. They were once known as this big conglomerate, and, and, and they are a big conglomerate. Let's give them that. But let's talk about the actual product on the field, i.e. let's talk about the actual gameplay and fan satisfaction. Um, gameplay is ass at best, and customer satisfaction is at an all-time low. But yet, you're still gonna try to sell me on the point that, oh, well, well we're Mortal Kombat. We can't do any wrong. <laughs> Bitch, you haven't been fucking relevant in years. And this game was just another nail in your fucking, in, in your fucking inevitable coffin. That you're gonna be Lord Six Feet Under when it comes time. <laughs> the game is just not good, dog. What is so, what is so hard? What is so difficult about admitting that NetherRealm Studios fucked up? Y'all are so worried about staying in the good graces of a company that doesn't give a shit about any of you. That's not named Sonic Fox for some reason. <laughs> I think we all know why. Y'all are so worried about staying in the good graces of a, com of, of a bullshit company releasing bullshit product that y'all will, 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 will die for these motherfuckers. Y'all will die on the hill for these motherfuckers, yet they won't cross the street for you. That's a damn shame, dog. Oh, I'm not done. There's more. There's more. This game should be the top dog of the fighting game space. It's being mishandled so badly and it tears me apart as a fan of MK. Yeah, and there goes another thing, too. The goddamn company don't even care. The company that made the game doesn't give a shit about it. This is the reality of the situation. Not some fucking fantasy that you want to put on and then blame content creators for not making... This is the shit that pissed me off. They actually got motherfuckers out there talking about some... Oh, well, if, if people would find a way to make better content for it instead of just bashing it. Bitch, there is no content to be made from this shit that everybody else is not doing. What, you want yet another motherfucker to host a tournament, a tournament scene that's consuming all their life and they just barely getting by? Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you want me to go into invasions and try to make content out of that? Hmm? You want me to go into King of the Hill crossplay that doesn't work and try to make it work there? Doing the same exact shit over and over and over and over and over again? Keep in mind, it's 2024 and this motherfucking game ain't even got rooms. Let's not talk about the Twitch aspect of the goddamn game, which looks worse than a PS1 game. You just heard about the PC port of the goddamn game. It hasn't worked since September. This game was released September 2023, which means it hasn't worked since it dropped. Yet people are still going to try to find a way to make an excuse for what is obviously a problem, which means we have a gaming company full of fucking idiots who don't know how to make a fighting game nor know how to handle it. But the only thing that works in this goddamn game is a poke and microtransactions. Come the fuck on, dude. Again, I gave y'all the benefit of the doubt and said 25 to 50 people was gonna show up. Motherfucking game couldn't even make the cut. The big three in fighting games couldn't make the cut of the Nevo. You sold all these, you sold all these different copies. You sold all these different units. But yet, y'all can't get nobody to sign up to compete for it. But yet, games older than this can. This whole argument that oh well, uh, they they sell they still sell a lot. Yeah, you know who else sells a lot? OnlyFans models. That don't mean that they make good wives, bro. 
Just because you sell a lot doesn't make it a good game. You are literally selling because of the legacy. You're not selling because of what the fuck you're putting out now. Which is why I call them the Dallas Cowboys of the fighting game sphere, if not the gaming sphere. Because they used to be so great, now they're just pathetic. You're living off a legacy that only fans as old as me, fans that are in their 30s, fans that are that were in the midway days, they were there during the midway days. You were there because of us. You were where you're at because of us, not the other way around. And somehow, some way throughout this motherfucking bullshit, and I'm going to use the T word, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Timeline. That That's what the fuck we got going on in this timeline. That's what the fuck we got going on here. You're living off of what the fuck you used to be instead of trying to build to be more. And that's the issue. People making excuses for a bad product. Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 11 is a bad product. They fucked up twice. Twice. They would much rather tell you Oh, well, uh, uh, Sonya and, and Melina are fucking. Uh, 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 Kung Jin and whoever's fucking. I don't care. What the fuck does that have to do with the goddamn game I'm playing? What does that have to do with anything? Why is that the focus? Instead of giving us a game that is actually fun to play. Games that don't make me want to pull my fucking hair out. Games that are not so goddamn repetitive that you can literally fall asleep watching the motherfucker stream it. If people would call out NetherRealm Studios for their book, what are they going to do? Cut off every last one of y'all? Then what? Then what? They become nothing. That's what happens. Mortal Kombat doesn't want you to know, NetherRealm Studios doesn't want you to know, WB doesn't want you to know that they need us more than we need them. And Evo and France is showing that shit live and in living color. And this is what the fuck they get. NetherRealm, this is what the fuck you get. Your game, your company, your developers, your creator are a fucking joke are a fucking joke, used to be so good, and now, just pathetic. Let the downfall of MK1 and NetherRealm Studios continue, as it should, in a downward spiral, a game that not even your own company takes seriously. They don't even give a fuck about this game, but you're telling me I should? To pay for $10 voices and $10 skins, that are nothing but recolors. Come on, man. Y'all can't be serious. This game is so pathetic. And I know I didn't speak on the situations because to be honest, I really don't give a fuck. But to let you know in the end of the video on how pathetic Mortal Kombat 1 is, all last week, instead of talking about how we can get this game in the Evo, you want to know what the fucking Mortal Kombat 1 universe, the gaming sphere of MK1, you want to know what the MK community was all on instead of trying to get in this game to get better and get at Evo, you know what they were more worried about? They were more worried about content creators threatening each other over how bad the game, this game is so bad that the most important thing about this game just here last week were content creators threatening to fight each other. I wish I was lying. It was more about content creator drama than it was getting a good game. If that don't show you how bad and how pathetic and how and, and, and just how what, what's the word I'm looking for? Just, just how terrible, just awful, just awful. Mortal Kombat one is. I don't know what will. And if y'all are still finding a way to make excuses for what is obviously right in your fucking face, bro, I don't know what to tell you. Go get your motherfucking brain checked. That's my video. I'm out. Goodbye.